Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines. I have here a newer style, Troy built 24 inch Storm. It's a 2410. It's a uh, snow thrower and this one came in with what we have done a lot of this year is a bad carburetor. And this is a new style engine. I want to show you how to get the carburetor off of this style engine. And I want to show you a couple tools. So here we have the tools I use. Obviously the quarter inch ratchet that I use in all my videos, it helps me uh, speed up things. Um, I love my fender clip tools. They work great and a couple pliers needle nose pliers and regular pliers I think that should be everything, but obviously uh, I always come across something that I need I'm gonna take uh, this over and this over. Let's go see how we can do this All right, so we have this is the new style I actually like the way this is built They actually thought of the mechanic I think and really they probably did but they have a little slot in here now right here and that actually allows us not to have to pull this this knob off which is really nice i mean you just have to it's a little tricky because the way you have to pull everything off but it's nice that we don't have to pull this off there's a little slot right there just make sure it's in the middle um, we have 10 millimeter bolt here 10 millimeter bolt here we have a few on the side let's get to uh taking this off got to go the right way and like i've always said just make sure you Make sure you keep them where you're not going to lose them. One here. If you guys want me to do a video on how to look up parts for these, I can also do that video. Please leave a comment below if you think I should do a video on how to look up the parts for these. It's not that hard. You just have to take the model number off the machine and go to any parts lookup. Um, that has Troy built, or this is technically an MTD, but Troy built will, um, Troy built website will get you to the parts. And I'm sure you guys, you do it yourself first. Now I'm going to get a small magnet up oh, here. It is. I was going to say, cause the magnet will take this out. This will just come out like this. All right, there we go. And this is a longer one. I have two short ones. They have a couple short ones and two long ones. Remember which way they go. The short ones came from here. The long ones came from here and here. These two up here. Uh, but back to the uh, parts lookup. Okay, so when you look up the parts for this, you're going to use the model number right here. It's a 31S6BN2723. Now, the model numbers on a lot of these machines change from dig digit to digits, even though the part numbers for the carburetors or the parts may be the same. So you can just take that model number and go to Troy Built website. I mean, I can show you all that on the video. If you, like, like I said, comment below if, um, if you want to do a video on how to look up the parts. Now I use my, um, my clip tool here to get this guy off. Now this one here pops straight up. The old ones were on the side. This one pops straight up and you gotta be careful you don't break them, but it pops right up out of there. And it has a little, it's a slice on the side here that's open. And this one here is open, but it's thin. Okay, so on this side, you gotta look down inside. Now it's up in the air pretty far, but you'll be able to tell when I take this cover off. There's a pole right here. There's a little plastic rod that goes down in the carburetor. You just got to make sure that you put it back on correctly. I want to show you when I take this off right now. So that, at this point, you got to make sure you're in the center here for your little sli slice right there, and it'll pull out. Now, I've noticed that because of this plastic rod that goes down in your carburetor, you have to kind of push up on it and then off to the side. And it's a little tricky because you have to kind of get everything to pull out at the same time. But it does come out, and I do notice that the, I can already feel the tension on the primer line. The primer line goes from the primer bulb all the way down to this clip here. And you want to, you can pop it out of the clip. Or can you? All right. It comes up. I'm going to take it off the bottom here, right here, where it's connected to the carburetor. And you got to be careful that you don't break that plastic little inlet right there. That's plastic. So I took it off of there, and I'm going to pull it up through here. Okay, I was just going the wrong way. You have to pop it up through there. So once that primer line is off, then you kind of finagle everything around and try to get it up out of your way. You don't have to take the electrical line off at all. You can just pull this out of your way. The electrical line has a little connector right here that holds it to the top of the carburetor bowl. I mean a carburetor bowl. It's the carburetor top of the carburetor. All right, it's a little clip in. Just make sure to get back in the right spots. Now, I did miss a tool. There's a Phillips head 
that comes off of here. Let's back up just a second here and we'll go back to this knob. All right, on, on this right here, it has a, a flat spot here right, that, that comes out, protrudes off from the rod. You just wanna make sure when you put this back together again, that you have that right down onto that and then it'll go on perfectly, okay? Just make sure when you're looking down from above that this goes on correctly. Now I'm gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver for that. I'm gonna lower the bench down a little bit so you can see this. Okay, so you wanna take this guy off here. I should have had my electric Now, I guess you don't have to take that, that off, but I'm taking it off now because it's easier to take it off while it's on the machine for me. Oops. Okay, so we get this guy off. Now, this will just pop up. This is just a cover. Now, as we all know, snowblowers do not have air cleaners because when it's snowing, there is no dust. All right, now you have to take off, this is nice because now that I have this cover off, I can actually take off the vent tube that goes to the valve cover. And I'm gonna do that kind of all in one shot where I'm gonna take off the 10 millimeter bolts to the carburetor. And I forgot one thing before we do this. You do wanna pinch off the fuel line. That was another tool I missed. Small pair of vice grips that I use to pinch off the fuel line. You just got to make sure you don't over pinch it, but make it snug enough that it's not going to drip anywhere. Then we have our pair of pliers. We're going to get this guy clip off of here. It comes onto the fuel line. Just got to work that up. These guys are really tight. Just going to work that up. And then I use my fender clip tool and I go right underneath here. And push that up now this is where you're going to have a little fuel leakage if you have a rag or something make sure you put a rag under there if you're working all over something that's going to get ruined be careful you have a little fuel leakage there okay so we have that and the reason why i did that now is because i'd rather do it while the carburetor is still tight on the machine then we go back to taking off the nuts on the outside of the carburetor it's right here Here. Okay, now this is where you can just kind of push off this while you're pulling this off. There, it just pops right off. That is that is very nice. Now I see that there is bushings that go onto this plastic cover. So these bushings here may may or may not come off, but they go into this plastic cover. So make sure that they're. I usually put them back on the plastic cover when I put them back in there, but these will fit right in here. As you can see, they fit like that. And when you put it back together again, just make sure they, you have them in there. And if they don't go in the, if they don't go in the front, put them through the rear. All right, there you go. So that should be like that when you put it back on and make sure you put the hose back on. This gasket here looks like, may or may not be able to keep it, but I've always said, if you can replace them, replace them. I know some, a lot of these guys won't replace them, um, but it is good to replace them. This looks pretty much new. Unfortunately, this guy never really ran this thing and a uh, bad gas in the carburetor, and that's why we gotta pull it apart and rebuild it. Now at this point, you just have to kind of wiggle and jiggle. It's gonna start coming out, and we have to get this spring off the back of the carburetor there. And very carefully pry that up, off, Gotta make sure you don't bend these. And even if you do bend them, you can kind of bend them back. I'm, nobody's perfect and we all, you know, we all bend these at some point depending on how many you're doing. And then, like I said before in my other videos, is that when you pull this off, this rod will actually line up with the slot that it comes out of. So you pull it off to the point where it's almost lined up and then it should just pop right up out of there. All right, and then we pull it off and there's your carburetor. And as far as, you know, this carburetor goes, all we're gonna do is we're going to tear it apart and put it into an ultrasonic cleaner and clean it up and put it back on and hopefully he'll be good to go after that 
If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave a comment. And I, again, if you guys want me to help you out with uh, looking up parts on snow blowers, I can also do that on a different video. Just leave a comment below. Please give the thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.